everyone welcome back to my channel oh my goodness you guys are in for a treat today we are redoing a review and swatches and a mini tutorial at the end of the video for the Too Faced chocolate gold palette <sighs> yes <laughs> um, you know when I first saw this I knew I needed it and then I kind of backed off of it just for um, a couple days I was like no you don't really need that in your life and then I ventured into Ulta and I was like, you know what, let me see if they have it. And I went and I swatched it and I bought it. <laughs> um, I didn't pay full price. I did use my points at Ulta. So uh, that made me feel a little bit better. Anyways, so this is your box right here. Very creative, chocolate dripped in gold beautiful box um, and then on the back you have your shade all right so let's go ahead and read the description uh, it says chocolate gold take decadence to the next level with a luxurious gold and cocoa powder infused eyeshadow palette that smells as good as it looks however a major metallic moment with foiled shadows that are created with real gold for an epic high shine finish that's paired with rich seductive mattes for coffee to cocktail wear all shadows feature a soft velvety texture with full coverage payoff the entire palette is infused with skin loving cocoa powder for a decadent chocolate scent um, so it's made with 100% natural cocoa powder and they are saying that it is made with real gold okay I don't know if I have a comment for that made with real gold I mean I understand that we all want it to sparkle we want it to shine but the whole real gold thing I don't know and anyways let's move on this is the palette right here um, it has your gold dripped over your chocolate um, and if you can see it does come it does pop up some right here so I really really enjoy the packaging on this plus this isn't your typical Too Faced um, magnetic close it does have a clasp right here that you kind of have to pop up just a little bit in order to open it so if you can hear this it does have that click so this is definitely a little more stable than the other palettes have been so you open this up and I'm trying not to blind you but you do get a complete full-size mirror no no drawings no cuteness all it says is Too Faced right here but you can do your whole eye look with this mirror and I love that the quality of this mirror is really nice now these Oh my goodness yes look 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 these are your colors now these right here look at that oh my god these colors are stunning <sighs> doesn't that just make you fall in love oh it makes me fall in love okay so we're gonna do our typical swatches we are going to take it by rows and then once we are done with the swatches we will get into the review part of this swatches oh my goodness look at these colors look at the color payoff there's your transition color right there oh man these are so beautiful look at that black look how deep and rich that is for one swipe Wow 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 oh all right let's go into thoughts and if you can't tell I'm a happy girl right now <laughs> all right 
So you do get 16 shades total. Now you only get three mattes in here, but the mattes that they did put in here, you can create a standard look with it. So I do appreciate that. You do get your transition shade, uh, you get a crease color, and then you get two different colors that you can use in your crease area. And then all of these other are metallic shades. The shade selection in this palette. Oh my goodness, it is stunning, okay? There are no colors that are alike. Every color is beautiful, every color is different. Now, uh, when I go to swatch them, okay, the first thing you're going to notice is yes, they are dry. They don't apply that way though. Um, they are dry to the touch, but when you put them on your eye with a brush, they feel really, really nice. So there is no issues with that. Um, I didn't have any problems with kick up. I did not have to blow off uh, my palette um, after each swipe. So that is a plus. Uh, the only one I had any kind of kick up with uh, was this transition area right here. Everything else, hardly any at all. Now, when I did my eye look today, uh, the only time I got any fallout is when I went in with my fluffy flat shader brush. Um, I did have some fallout using this. Now, as you will see in the video, when I switched to this one right here, which is just a firm flat shader brush, I had zero fallout, okay? Zero. Um, the packaging is so well thought out. I love that they have the chocolate bar. I love that they have this gold right here. I love that they made it kind of 3D. Um, you are going to get finger on prints on this. That is not a big deal. They just wipe right off. See? Shiny and new. Um, I love that they added the new clasps to this so it makes it definitely more sturdy. Um, I do think that it is an improvement from the other palettes. Um, the mirror, okay? I did my whole eye look using this mirror. Thank you, Too Faced, for making a full-size mirror with nothing covering the inside. I really, really appreciate that because now I don't have to sit here and dig through my mirrors um, in order to do a look. I can actually do the whole entire look with this mirror, so that is a huge plus. Um, love the mirror. All right, so this palette does run for $49. You can pick this up at TooFaced.com. You can also pick this up online and in stores at Ulta. Um, I prefer Ulta because I did use my points, so I was able to get this palette for $30 versus $49. Um, the smell is amazing. Uh, to me, it is not overpowering. If you're not into any kind of scents in your makeup, I would definitely stay away from this palette because it does have a smell. Um, it's not faint, but it's not overpowering. I think it is just the right amount and the smell is delicious. Now, before I even found this in store, I was going to be so worried that this palette was going to be a hot mess. Um, I don't know why because I have liked all the stuff that Too Faced has come out with recently. Um, but something just made me kind of weary and they proved me wrong because this palette is amazing. I, I, I don't know any other word to say other than the fact that this palette is w my dream palette. It really is. It is my dream palette. Everything about this I love. You can use this for everyday looks. You can use this for glam looks, going out in the town. I'm definitely going to have to create some holiday looks with this palette because this just screams holiday with the green and the gold and the silver. Um, you can just create any look from this palette. All right, with that being said, um, now the eye look I have on today, I did not create myself. I actually did one of the step-by-steps that they included with their um, their how-to guide. Sometimes with these how-to guides, um, I don't like every look that I see. You know, one or two might be appealing. Um, but with this, they give you three different eye looks, and I love the eye looks that are in here. They just called to me, and this is the one that I created right here. So if you do want to see the step-by-step -step on this, just keep watching. All right, so um, I went ahead and primed my eyes with my Urban Decay Primer Potion. I was going through their how-to guide, which I think is beautiful. These colors are really, really nice. Um, I like the looks that they included in this. 
but there was two that stood out to me. Um, the Your Money gives me kind of a holiday vibe. So we are going to test this one out and see if we can recreate this. With doing that, I'm going to take my tapered blending brush, my E40 from Sigma, and we are going to go in rolling in the dough, which is this one right here, and we're going to sweep that from lash line to brow bone. <laughs> I'm going to take my Sigma E25 brush and we are going to take Cocoa Truffle and we are going to put this in our outer V and we're going to drag it onto the lower lash line. Now I'm just going to take my shader brush and I'm going to put money bags, which is this green one right here, and we're going to put this on the lid um, and smudge it onto the lower lash line. I'm not going in with any spray because I want to show you how pigmented these are. Look at that. That is a dry brush. Hmm. Yes. I'm having some fallout with this. I'm not sure if it's because of my brush or not. So I'm going to actually go ahead and switch brushes and I'm just going to use my Wet n Wild shader brush. This one is definitely more firm so we'll see uh, if this has the same amount of fallout. All right, so looking at this right now, um, I don't have fallout with my firm shader brush, uh, but I do have fallout with a fluffy shader brush. So um, when going into these, unless you want to wet them uh, to have less fallout, I would say go in with a firm shader brush. <laughs> going to go back and I'm going to take my Morphe M433 and I'm going to go in with new money and we're going to put that right into our crease area. <laughs> eyeliner all right so this is what we have so far I am really 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 liking this um, so let's go ahead and add some mascara um, 
with this look, I definitely would want to go in with my Marc Jacobs or my Too Faced Lights Camera Lashes, but because it is really late at night, um, I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Lash, Lash Sensational Mascara. <laughs> this off um, I'm going to apply my lipstick and Kat Von D in the color Lolita So this is the completed look. I actually really, really like the way that this turned out. Um, it gives me definitely that pop of color, but nothing too crazy where I couldn't wear this to work on a normal day. Um, this is just a fun look to me. To me, it also feels a little festive with the green. So I'll definitely be redoing this look in the future. Um, really, really enjoying this. Anyways, so that wraps it up for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. You can also follow me on Instagram. I will have that link down below as well. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.